How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Android Nougat uh, 7.1 developer preview and we're going to be talking about specifically that software running here on my Nexus 6P. You can also get it for the Nexus 5X and the Pixel C at this point and if you have one of the new Pixel X L or the Pixel, you obviously can be running that officially on that device. But we're going to talk about some of these new features, show them off to you, show them how a little bit how you can actually get this installed on your device if that's what you prefer to do and check it out. So that all being said, let's go check out Android Nougat 7.1. Let's check out what's new here in Android 7.1 developer preview on my Nexus 6P. So you guys can see it still has the microphone feature from the lock screen along with launching your camera. Um, and then you can also just obviously just go ahead and, and unlock it. Right there. A little tricky with the mouse, but I think it'll be keeping my hands out of the way and show you guys these features a little bit easier. So as you can see, it is actually running the Google Now launcher. Um, it's not running the new Pixis launcher or Pixel launcher um, yet. I'm thinking at some point it'll probably be integrated, but currently this is what we are on. So if we hold down, you can see um, your app uh, right here, all of your widgets, and this looks pretty standard. So nothing really new on that front. The same uh, Google Now launcher settings and all things you can adjust and tweak in here. And then your wallpaper is also basically uh, the same for the Nexus 6P. Um, we do have some new features though, and I think they're pretty cool. I'm actually really liking them. So one of the latest and greatest features that is on here that I'm really liking is this one. I don't even know how what they call it at this point, but basically you just hold down on any icon and it'll give you um, different things you can do with it. And actually what these basically are is they're a predetermined list of what they call activities on the device so you're basically just being able to pick an activity and launch it directly from hold long holding on the application like some of these are very convenient like my application so I always go into Google mainly to update applications and you can see right here they're they're easy to update and now this is interesting you see this Google Sur support services is wanting to update and I'm going to show you what that is so I'm actually going to run these updates while we keep talking about this because that's actually an important uh, key feature here that I saw that was kind of new um, so they're pretty cool so one of the things you can do here is like here if you have a conversation like you can start a new one it'll list conversations that you've already had or popular ones that you talk to people a lot so let's open up this one and I want to show you what's new in here and the biggest thing that's new is built-in GIFs so if you want to go ahead and add a gift to a conversation, you click on your smiley face, you click on the gifts, and then right here you can go ahead and add gifts. This is really, really cool. So you can actually scroll through options. So these are frequently used. Then you want to go to high fives and you can just start searching. It's basically searching the internet for gifts. You can see different sites that they're on. Um, and just finding gifts that have to do with high fives. And this list goes on and on and on. You could literally just sit here and play with the gifts for hours and looking at all these cool gifts. Um, I'm, I'm definitely liking them. You know, this, this is pretty cool. See, winks. Winks. <laughs> uh, the gifts, the gift feature is pretty neat. And being built right into the keyboard, I love it. Absolutely love it. So you can see there's a lot to pick from. You can just keep scrolling through words here. Um, you could also go up here and click search, and you could search for a specific GIF, um, something specifically you're looking for. So having that built into the messaging application and the keyboard, absolutely love it. Um, on that note, I know there is some new emojis that have been added uh, to this. So let's see if I can find some. I think a lot of them are basically women characters in different jobs. If you hold down on an emoji, you can see that you can actually pick all kinds of different skin colors and different things like that. So we basically have women emojis being added with different careers to it. So if you like emojis and you want to use them, then there are some new ones here in Android 7.1. So there you go. That is the messaging application. Let's go ahead and go back. I'm just going to show you some of these other ones we hold down on just to get you a feel for how this works. And the last thing that's really cool is it does obviously work in um, folders here as well and it also works in your app drawer so you can do the same thing you can hold down on them 
Um, you can just see, now not all applications have um, something associated with them. So like for example, here's Google Plus. If I hold down on it, it only brings me to the screen so I can place it. It doesn't actually give me an option to do anything with it. So that's you know a little bit of a bummer. I wish it was built into every single one and it would just like start listing activities off of that application. But one of the ones that I like is like here, here is um, Play Movies and things like I whenever I launch Play Movies I always want to go to My Movies. So you can actually grab that and now you've created basically a shortcut right to that feature on your phone. And I really like that. And same with uh, any of these. See, so that opened that up. But same thing here. You can just grab it. And uh, now you have a shortcut to my apps. So I like that a lot. I think that's really, really nice. Um, and just a great feature, a way to integrate that very simply. I mean, obviously, you have widgets. So we could long press on widgets. And you know there might be a widget listed in here that does that same feature but this just makes it clean and simple so like for Google Play you don't have my apps right it's not a, it's not a widget you know you have to go into like an activity creator and create that and now it's built in and I'm really liking that feature a lot just to show you a couple other ones you have some for settings you can launch very quickly I wish you could kind of structure these a little bit these look like they're predetermined I wish you could kind of pick what you want to show up here or maybe it would be like slightly random or something more than what we have because there I mean you could have shortcuts to every single thing in settings um, I think that'd be kind of you'd be but it'd be a huge long list so that doesn't make sense so some way to like or hit a button and scroll for more um, shortcuts would be actually really cool so since we got settings open here already let's go ahead and just launch settings and I'm just going to show you guys that we are what we are on here. So there it is, Android 7.1.1, Nexus 6P. We can go ahead and click on the Android version and get the Android Easter egg. And if you click on this a bunch of time and then like long hold, you'll see it'll turn on the little um, guy right there, the little cat. And that allows you to use your drop downs. And let's see if I have it on here already or not. No, don't have it turned on. Um, and go to edit. And then we should be able to add our cat, if I can get it, and put it up here. And then we can finish that out. And now we should be able to scroll over and add a treat and try to attract cats. And maybe we can catch some cats. And there's your treat right there. So pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, that's nothing new. We can get back in here. I think go just click on that. Gives you that information. But we'll go back into settings because there's one more thing in settings that I want, I want to point out. Actually, a couple. But the first one is the support right here. That's why I wanted to update that application because that updates this. Um, this is new. I've never seen this tab before for support. And I think that's really important to uh, see it. I think the biggest thing is to explore tips and tricks. I think that's going to be helpful for you. Search and feedback, you can do some things there as well. So that's nice. You still have the scroll in from the side here to shortcut through here. And the, I got the last thing I think that's really fairly new here in Android 7.1 is moves. So we'll go ahead and open that. So basically, there are just three things you can do that will do different features for you. So the first one is to turn on camera. And I'm going to do this in my hand. So you just double tap the power button and it will launch your camera application. So that's a nice, it's a nice easy move right there, simple to use and we're going to go right back into it and then you can also rotate your hand and flip your hand around when the camera's open that will go ahead and turn on selfie mode and then you can um, lift to check phone notifications just lift up your phone and it'll it'll check the notification on on the screen so there's a couple things you can do there which is nice i like that i like some extra settings there and some extra things that we can do on the device so some gesture motions is, are, are nice so right there you got more um and uh, you can do some different things so very very cool Otherwise, the rest of these settings are pretty standard. There is System Tuner. If you want to turn that on, you can use it as well. So you obviously still have multi-window mode, which doesn't seem to work very well with the mouse, but you can drag something up here. You can scroll through down here, you know, select it. You can get your split, split, split screens. You know, you can turn split screen on and off. You know, you can do a lot of different tabs between applications. So that feature is all still there. You still have that. That was in Android 7.1. I guess the last thing I got to show you is again with my hands is because we've added finally we have added on Google devices a restart button. It's always been just power off. So you had to power off, wait, power on, get it to restart. 
Finally, we have a simple power off uh, reset or restart button. The other thing you can do with these, if you guys have never seen this, is you can also reboot to safe mode. And you can hold down on either one of this. This has always been there, but most people don't really know about it. And that will basically turn off any downloaded applications and only run the stock applications if you're having problems on your phone. But you know what, guys? That is going to wrap it up for me here on Android 7.1 Developer Preview. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more coverage on this device. And if you're looking to install it on yours, I'm going to link you guys to a video in the video description down below. And I've gone ahead and redid the firmware and made it so that it can be flashed without even wiping the data on your Nexus 6P or 5X. I'll link you to those things down below. Check them out right here. All right, guys, here we go. I just want to show you these files. So right here, Android 7, uh, Android Nougat 7.1 Preview. If you click on this, right there is the file. I'll link you to this one. This is for Nexus 6P, obviously. You can come back up and we can go to the Nexus 5X as well. Um, and we'll go in here, same thing. You can find that file and right there is that firmware with those re recreated uh, flashes, fast flash utilities, either uh, batch files or SH files for Linux and Mac. And you should be able to flash this right to your device as long as you have an unlocked bootloader simply and easily without even wiping data if you choose that option. So I just want to point these things out to you and show you that these are on the site already. That's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more coverage on new Android features as they come out. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie out.